Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Some More Core Keeper. So we are back and I've been doing a bunch of farming. I mean, it's getting up there. Uh, it's gone into 67 cooking, it's 51. So pretty badass if you ask me. Um, but uh, yeah, one of the foods I've done now is these guys here. So um, this is just the bloat uh, and uh, what is it? It's not bloat, I call it bloat. Uh, it's uh, bloat oat. Oh, uh, actually it is bloat oat. Uh, Blodo and the peppers and then I have this one here which is uh, the bloat again but this time glow tulips and uh, yeah I like them because 9.1 uh, health and I do the glow ones just because you know extra glow when uh, when I'm out there adventuring or whatever so today I wanted to look into getting some auto mining done just because I think it would be worthwhile so uh, let's see what we need. So we have the electric table and all that stuff already, right? That's this thing over here. Um, I mean, I almost like want to take it temporarily and bring it over here so I can be lazy. Can I still open this? Oh, no, you have to go down there now if you wanted to. But there you go. So um, let's see here. I have some... I, I probably don't have enough to do many, but maybe we have enough to do two. So I think I'm going to do, I, I, I do a little Googling. I think the best setup is doing eight because that's like every 30 seconds or something you get a piece of ore, which is very little like speed wise, but I think is the best one. Now I'm hoping being far away does not affect it like our farms, because if it does, I might end up having to convert this into a multiplayer game only for the fact that when I tested out multiplayer, you can have something far away, but in single player, like my farm doesn't even grow when I'm away. So I'm a little confused on that. And the last thing you want to do is have to stand there for three hours, you know, while it's doing its thing. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping that was just, uh, that's not the case. But anyways, yeah, we got 280, quite a bit of iron. And oh, of course, did we already put, yeah, we did. Okay, so not a lot, but that's enough to probably do a couple. So let's do... A couple of these let's do eight of these and then we don't need electric wire so I think that's it for that and then we're gonna go down here uh, oh yeah it's the automation table we want next so this is the part where well all your tables are gonna have to be moved if you want them you know I guess you could if you want to be lazy though why not Okay, so the automation table here. So one, two, wait, yeah, okay. Let's do 16 of these. 16 of those, two of these, and a bunch of these. And later on, we can get sprinklers for our stuff too, which is kind of cool, so. No, I think that should be good. Put you there. Remember we have wood in here too that we decide to make if we need that later on. Awesome. Oh, we got so much wood. I might do 500 of it, too. I don't even know if I need that much ever, but I mean, I have it. Why not, right? And then let's go ahead. To make this somewhat safer, we want to we'll build some walls and stuff around it. So let's go back up here. And let's go ahead and get our walls and let's do our door. Um, now, floor might be good, too, if you're trying to prevent things from spawning. I think if you have those floors, nothing can spawn, but I don't think anything is supposed to spawn unless you have the grass. Now, if you're trying to look, so you can see I've I've scattered around looking for this ore. This is all just looking for the ore, not looking for anything else but the ores. Um, so as far as I know, that's probably one there. Oh, no, there they are. They're that big. Yeah, they're, they're two by two pixels. So there's one, there's one, there's one. So that's more than likely where I'd probably go as it's the closest one to the path too, right? So we'll head out that way and uh, yeah, we'll come back and uh, get ready for that. Okay, we're just making it to the border now. now. What is this? Oh, this is one. It just, I mean, I've been up and down this many times and yet it's not weird. Is there one here too? Cause if it is, I think I'd rather do this one. No, or something else, I guess. If the redness is gone, it's like tricking me, huh? Yeah, so there's some here. I think these ones might be not bad idea. There's one here. Oh, and there's one right there. I like that. Okay, we'll do these guys here then. Okay.
And then, yeah, we'll just clean this up here and, yeah, we'll build around these two here, which I think will be great. It's just like a little main uh, base, right? Now, as far as I know, these can mine up to 500 to 1,000, so it's not unlimited. You can't just put these here and come back in a million years and no, you got a billion of it or whatever. I just forgot something freaking important too. I have to run back. I want a smelter on these. I did not bring anything. I didn't bring a smelter with me or two smelters for them. So I'm going to have to run back for them. But let's let's get this uh, started anyways. Um, yeah, you don't have the flooring either, which I guess these can't work as flooring. No, they can't. What about if you put them on top of bridges? I've never tried that before, but I'm kind of curious now. I'm guessing not either, but I'm just I'm just curious if it would let you. Oh, you can place them on top. Interesting. So you don't even have to fill in the water technically. Interesting. If I remove this, there's still water there. Yeah, there is. Oh, cool. The more you know. Okay, so let's clean this up here. Torch is going to be in the way, I guess. There you go. Let's ready to eat this, and then there you go. <laughs> There you go, that should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and put our walls in here. So even the walls can go on those. I didn't I didn't know that was a thing, but now we do, so that's pretty cool. Okay. You can just, I just go like this. Doesn't have to be. None of this has to be perfect, right? Obviously, so well, that might bother me if I don't do it there. So it's all connected, kind of thing. <laughs> we came up this way, kind of thing. So let's put the doorway right here, I guess. There we go. That way we can, yeah. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah, so now we should be able to do all this. Now, you can put the floor in. I kind of want to because we get lots of stone anyways. And I'm just thinking, let's just do it for shits and giggles, basically. But you don't need to put a floor in, obviously. I don't even know if you could put a floor under the... No, you can't. Be a bit silly if you could, but I mean, you never know. Because the idea is it probably goes in the ground a bit, right? So... I feel like if these guys could provide me well over a thousand ore for the two of them, that they deserve a little bit of a, a, you know, creature comforts or whatever you want to call it. So. There you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the rest of this thing here. So I might put a torch here if that's okay. And then, yeah, so let's put the drills in here. So there you go. What do we have to do here? Oh, E. Okay, you can rotate them with E key. I'm guessing you can't do that with most things, but that's pretty cool. There we go. Have to get right up to them, then. Do it. Okay. Oops. No, don't drill each other. I guess if that happens, they'll probably make a mess. There you go. So those are connected. And then we're going to go ahead and connect the lights together. So this kind of, remember the machines and everything, they can power themselves. So like that, that completes the circuit in a sense. I guess you could do one less light, but I mean, whatever. Okay. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and do the conveyor next. So let's go from here. Actually, let's go do it this way first, I guess. It seems to auto face kind of like where I'm doing my thing, so that actually works out really well. So they pop out on there, right? So that's kind of cool. Hey. There you go. And then we need to put our lift thingy in here, which is great. So we can put that in here. Spin that so that pulls it from the belt. And this pulls it from the belt as well. And then you'd put it into your little furnace and then you'd power it. So let me go, I don't want to get started yet. Let me go get the uh, smelter things and we'll come back. Okay, so we're back at the base here. So which one is that? Is it this one here or this one? This one, okay, so yeah. The kiln we want, okay. This is literally what I had to do, so we'll run back now. Okay. So we're just gonna place these guys in here. This way it automatically smelts. We don't have to pick up the ore. It's already done for us, right? And then we're just gonna power each of these up. And there you go. So there you go. You can see the ore doing its thing. Now you have to keep in mind that, like I said, this is every, well, I'll tell you how long it takes. Um, uh, or what is it called? Boulders, I guess, boulder. Um, core keepers, core keeper. Oh no, it's not going to the, hate all these like crappy wikis and all the things. I go to the wiki, wiki Zet or whatever. That's the one I do. Okay. Yeah. So this is what it is. So one, one friggin' drill takes 135 seconds, which is 27 or per hour. So if you think about eight of them, it's not going to be divided by eight, unfortunately. It doesn't go that fast, but it has a decay, right? But it's 31, uh, or sorry, 31 seconds per one, which is a lot faster, obviously. Uh, so like, what, three times faster almost? Um, so that brings you down to 116, or actually that's like four times faster, I guess, right? 60, 120. Oh yeah, no, 120. Yeah, no, never mind. That'd be four times. Can't do math today, uh, which gives you 116 or per per hour. So basically, that's not too bad. Now, the qu real question I have is if I go away, like to my base or something, is this going to keep going or will it shut down? Because that would blow like a lot if you walk away and it doesn't do its thing. Because um, honestly, that that would be a nightmare, actually. <laughs> Because you obviously want it. There's another one right there, by the way. But uh, no, this should work well. And then obviously they're smelting it. So that's that's the beauty of it. And that's doing the job for you. And then you don't have to worry. So that's like the, the days of hunting ores is kind of... It's, I wouldn't say over, but it will make your life a lot more easier. So I kind of want to uh, maybe clean this up over here. There's a guy over here, though. Oh, yeah. here. Oh, yeah. One of these jerks. Here. Oh, gosh. There's two of them. There I go. Hey, I probably shouldn't stand right in front of it, get shot in the face like that. Holy crap, another one. Anyways, if we clean this up, we won't have to worry about those guys too much. Oh, they dropped armor. Ooh, hunter cloak. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I guess they have an armor set. Okay, so let's put you here. Something we'll eventually get, I guess, when we kill more of them. There you go. Let's do one more. Something like that, yeah. Okay, and then let's go and put our wall in here for fun. So this will be like later off camera, I'll, I'll do this one here, right? 
but hey, if you can add it up more or whatever. Actually, I'll probably do it this episode just because I'll just go back probably more than likely. There you go. I should do. Let's put this one right back here. And then do we have much flooring left? It might be enough. take that back just enough you got three left so that worked out really well okay and then uh, oh yeah I want to put torches in here obviously oh, actually this is still I mean it doesn't really matter right but I just want to do wall right so it's not a wall there so it's like no we can't have that so let's put you here there you go scroll there we go and then, yeah. Oh, I mean, technically it'd be there, but I don't want it there. It bothers me now. Like, no. There you go. That's within our area here. There, there you go. I think that's right. Ta-da. Okay, so that, that works. Look at that. You already got that. So maybe if I get enough of these, I'll go AFK, use the washroom, grab myself some water or something. And then when I come back, maybe we'll have... I've almost enough of these and then I can go and build another set. Um, I'd like to get some iron ones done too, right? But I'm actually tempted to do another one of these just because there's three right here. Might as well get it done. And then that way I get them faster and faster and then just focus on the iron ones then after. So, okay, let's collect these. So um, I already collected that one accidentally and went up to it. Actually, what happened was I hit E on this and it took them and threw them down. So I'm like, oh crap. Um, that was cool. So there's 109 there. So here's the, the big question. Now that those are empty, you know, if I go off and do something for a while, um, I guess I get port back, but Hey, if I walk back, then, uh, it gives it more time. Right. But I'm really hoping it will obviously keep running. I really don't know. So maybe I'll spend some time at the base AFKing over time, but, um, I'd actually rather do that after because if i get three of them and it does stay on obviously i want it you know but uh i i guess what happens is we'll just see what happens during the time i was at the base there and on my way there and then back and see if it's collected you know maybe 10 or so and then i could say oh yeah i guess it, it was running or maybe it wasn't running so there's a lot of these dudes in this cave they've went around taking all the torches down recently it looks like well not all of them but Oh, buggers, aren't they? Ooh, look at that. Free food. And yeah, they like to make a mess, don't they? Hey, look at this guy here. What are you doing here? This is not for you. Range combat, eh? We got one in Vitality before, too, which I never did spend that, so... Oh, yeah, I have this in crafting. So, 4% chance of getting external crafting items... Alchemy or just oh that's pretty cool. What is this one? Extra items gained from crafting rails, wires, or conveyor belt. Ah. I mean the alchemy or distillery is pretty cool. Gain a polished version of any item crafted in a jewelry or workbench. Six percent armor at low health, yeah. I would say, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter at this time. Yeah, I would say let's go with this one, because extra items are always fun. There you go. Cool. I guess we're at the base. I usually would do a cut here, but we're almost there anyways. We'll go for the full run. It's pretty close. It's not that far, to be fair. My downside is I almost should have put, like, uh, doors on the back of it because I <laughs> kind of have to run around, right? So, Okay, so let's see here. Um, I guess we'll do what we've been doing. We'll just put you over here. Let's take you out of here for now and put you here, put you up in here. Oh, we got 209, so that's not terrible. So, and almost a hundred, yeah, we'll see. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you need one of these guys. And then, yeah, you need more of these. Let's go for 50 of these. I wonder if we can get enough to... I'm kind of curious now. I'm almost, uh... Oh, you need the other stuff too, don't forget. So maybe not overdo it yet. Let's just put this down for a second. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm, I'm kind of spoiling. Oh, oh, crap. Now I have to paint that later on. I'm trying to... Um, much easier in picking up the resources, in my opinion. So you got those eight. You got those two. You got 50 of these at least. Yeah, so... Yeah, we have everything, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're we're short. Just a, oh, it's iron too. We're short on. Oh, that sucks. When we might have a bit of iron. Aha, uh -huh. maybe that's enough. Probably not, but we'll see. One more. <gasps> Eight. There you go. That's everything, right? Yeah. So we should be good there. There you go. So we can do another two. So I might I might as well do that. To be fair. There you go. And then we'll deposit whatever. So let me clean my inventory up here. And then we'll head back, see what's going on. I might take a little wee break in between. Oh my goodness. You guys might have said something about this already. But you remember when I said I died and I lost the statues? I'm pretty sure they're right there. Look at that grave. That tombstone is right there blended in. Never noticed that till now. There's the missing ones. Oh my goodness. So they were there. <laughs> yeah, because I thought we lost these for good because I was confused. I was like, oh, I didn't know there was such a bug existing in the game where you can lose items for good. And like, I thought things stayed floating forever, basically. But uh, no, there it is. Oh, look at this. We got both of them here. So this is armor. How much armor do you have? Oh, it doesn't have any armor. I like the armor, to be fair, but this is pretty cool. I guess the idea here is just don't get hit, really, right? So... That's a pretty cool set, but yeah. So this whole time, when I thought I lost those for good, it was it was just right there in a little tombstone in front of it. Oh damn! Yeah, I honestly thought that was it. You know, they were gone. They were over. That's it. Oh yeah, that's uh, one of those things too. Go. Yeah, let's put this here. Okay. And then do we have enough? Oh, let's get more flooring. Um, I guess we just grab the floor thing here, right? Do, 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 do. Yeah, just grab more of this. Make it into more floor. By the way, once we had killed all three bosses, their inventory opened up, and I wanted to show you that. Their, their, their sales, sorry. So, like, they carry a bit more now in here. So, I thought that was kind of cool. Just so you guys knew about that. Nothing crazy, but yeah. And I, I guess this guy has... Oh, yeah. Look at that. So you can spawn the bosses. You can buy mechanical parts. I guess this is for something later on. And then empty... Okay, cool. So let's go over here. And what are we doing again? Oh, yeah. The floor thing here. So that's this one right here, right? Yeah. Getting all those extras, and plus you get a lot in the crafting. It's like maybe I have too many going here. I don't mind. We can eventually, if you had a lot of stone, you could do uh, bridges too with them. The wood is like kind of something you get a lot of anyways, but I guess it's not a bad idea if you wanted stone bridges and stuff eventually. I like all the extras we get. It just kind of spams you. It's like, ah, eh, whatever. Just might as well use whatever I got here left. Just so I, yeah, there you go. Cool. And then, yeah, so I'll head back now and we'll see if we got a little extra. Okay. We're just at the border here. Run, run, run. We'll see if we, we got what we wanted. And 
I'm hoping it ran. If not, that sucks. But we'll see here. 18. No, that definitely was running, I would say. Yeah, I'm confident that this kept running, so that makes me extremely happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and set these guys up too. So a little maybe too much of these. So I, I'm out of iron, so I'm going to have to run more iron. Just I have to mine more arm, uh, uh, iron words just to make more of these. But then the next ones I'm going to put on are for iron, right? So I'm not too worried about that, but... Okay, and then, yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, we have, well, it's not a big deal, but, yeah. Um, I guess you might have enough, just enough room, right? Yeah, it's a little squishy here, but that's fine. Let's put you, which way did we usually go? Was it this way? Oh, I did it again. I forgot the damn thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm an idiot when it comes to that, aren't I? Uh, okay, whatever. And then we got our arm here. Perfect. And then, yeah, you grab your arm here. You know what? Because I feel like I have enough of these. I might just run one on iron. But uh, cause then I don't have to do so much by hand on the iron at least. So. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Okay, so you got your thing here, and then you'll run it. Okay, so we got to go back and grab something. Maybe I'll keep an eye on some iron, or I probably could find iron, actually, if I'm careful enough. That looks like the, uh, yeah. I just have to look for some iron. I mean, even that can be... Yeah, I'll figure it out. Okay. Not too far off. I have an iron thing here. I couldn't find anything with like multiple irons nearby, so um, I just thought I'd grab this for now. So it's just north of here, just before the ring, which isn't too bad. Uh, so I just want to do the same idea, you know, clean it up a bit for fun. Don't have to, but I think it's kind of a fun thing to do. Hey, you're not supposed to be there. And you can put your door here. We need doors to get out of here kind of thing because this is my main path, but that's fine. There you go. It's not supposed to happen. There you go. There you go. Okay, and then yeah, so let's put uh oh yeah, we want to put a thing here, so oops. You get in and out of this spot, and then yeah, I'll take care of the floor after. Um, so let's get you put in here. Now we'll be able to mine iron. And I'll set up probably more iron ones off camera anyway, so I don't think you guys need to watch me do this, right? <laughs> Done it three times, four times, whatever. So I don't think you got to have to, you know, I think you know, that's enough. But uh, I'll set up more off camera as we get enough more re resources because, well, then we don't have to uh, worry about it too much. And at least it does seem to run anyways. At least those ones did seem to run. Which is the good news, because it would suck if it didn't and you had to stand right on top of them the whole time. So, hopefully that's always the case. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll let you know if things aren't working as well. And I'm like, ah, but uh, I think we're going to be fine, I think. So, and then let's put you in here. And then for this one, you want to make sure you use your furnace, not your, you know, because that would be embarrassing. And there you go. Wow, that's bright. Okay. I like it being bright, though, to be fair. There you go. Put 
these here too, yeah. It's like the only ones you really see past anyways, but yeah, there you go. And there you have it, and it made her iron, and that's, uh, that's all she wrote, basically. So, yeah, that works out well. I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, off camera here, put the, uh, the kiln or whatever it's called, yeah, uh, on the other one. And then, uh, no, we're golden there, so that should hopefully work out for us. And, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll probably do one or two more iron ones as well, and then we'll just really get that, uh, production going, and then, uh, I don't have to really worry about armor as much uh, or anything with that, you know, repairing and stuff like that. And then I think what we're going to do is instead of just like upgrading the next armor or just like booting it out of here, um, I'd like to start adventuring and looking for the water areas. So they're going to either be there. There's a desert one connected to this as well. So it's either going to be one of these three directions or it might be like a, a blocked off. I think it, I don't know how they did it. Was it like a wall there for those ones? I forget what it was. But anyways, there there's potentially like something in the way because I believe there would be one for the desert as well, right? So um, I guess the way they do it is they cut it in a pie and there's three parts to it. So there's the wilds, there's going to be the water place and then or sea whatever. And then there will be a desert one that's coming up in November. So uh which i'm hoping we'll do some videos and we'll add it to this series so there might be a gap obviously it might be like hey you did 15 or 20 videos whatever and then all of a sudden there was this gap there and then hopefully i'll get uh some opportunity to go ahead and get that done i am trying to sell my house and move but that's not been going well recently so um can't say much about that but uh either way thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this please don't forget to subscribe comment like all that fun stuff and uh, yeah, we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.